What's up, fight fans? Welcome back to Quick Rundowns. Today we're diving deep into one of the most talked about matchups in boxing history Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul. But before we get into the nitty gritty, I want to hear from you. Are you Team Mike or Team Jake? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, let's set the stage. Mike Tyson, the legendary former heavyweight champion, is gearing up for a showdown against the internet sensation Jake Paul. This is no ordinary fight, it's a clash of eras, yeah, a collision yeah, of titans. Yeah, the strongest I've ever and I know you since you're 13. I think this is so, this impressed the shit out of me. Nothing impresses me. You know, I'm gonna tell you the truth, I don't lie. I was worried about him traveling here, traveling there, he's not getting... I, I can sleep now at night. This is great. My mother died when I was 15, man. I wonder if she came back alive, would she know who I am? What's that? My mother died at 16. If she came back to life, I wonder if she recognized me. Yeah, she would. She would. 89 pounds even. He is undefeated. 1-0 oh, yeah. wants KO. He is one of Stand YouTube's the jab, biggest baby. stars. Fighting out of Calabasas, California. By way of Cleveland, Ohio. Here is Jake, the problem child. Oh! One child. and only Iron Mike Tyson. Tyson, a man who redefined the heavyweight division, versus Paul, a self-made boxing star with charisma and a growing fan base. But is Jake biting off more than he can chew? I'm, I'm gonna do my talk, and I'm gonna talk my shit, but I'm ready to fight. Your tummy hurt? Your tummy hurt still? I feel, I feel a lot better now. I love Mike, I respect him, but we're not friends anymore. Until November 15th, I'm knocking this out, and we're gonna see who's dead. We will see who's dead. We will see who's dead, Mike. We will, we will. They'll never give me credit. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. If I was walking on water, they would say it's because I couldn't swim. I'm gonna f you up. I'm gonna f up. I know all of these things. He has one punch knockout power. He's the greatest heavyweight of all time. On November 15th, all the haters wrong, all of these YouTuber, YouTuber hillbillies wrong. Recently, UFC commentator Joe Rogan has been on a full-blown mission to talk Jake out of this fight. He's been vocal on social media, sending shockwaves through the boxing community with his brutal warnings. Rogan argues that while Jake has talent and charisma, stepping into the ring with Iron Mike is like walking into a lion's den. The risk, he claims, far outweighs the potential rewards. Against the Mike Tyson that beat Marvis Frazier. You yeah. ever watch that fight? Yeah. That's my favorite Mike Tyson fight. Because that was Mike Tyson before he won the title. It was ABC Wide World of Sports. And Joe Frazier was, had been talking sh about Tyson, that he was in his prime, he'd beat Tyson. And so he had his son fight Tyson. And it was an execution. <laughs> It was an execution. Is that the one in Atlantic City where it lasted one round? One round. Hey, let's let's watch it because it's one of my favorite fights to watch Tyson. Because it's Tyson in his prime where he was f terrifying. He was so fast. And he would do angles and he was bobbing and weaving. You couldn't hit him. And he was just coming at you. Between wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is knowing. Wisdom is doing. Yeah. You know, I well, didn't like, know the here, here's thing. what I say. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a, a mystery. mystery. Now I tell people. Today is a gift. Listen to me. The present. You can have kids. They can love you, but they can. But if they respect you, they don't. Respect is everything. I don't want people to re to love me, respect me. And I, I say people, people get jealous. Now, let's be honest, Jake Paul is riding high after his recent six round knockout victory over bare knuckle brawler Mike Perry. But Rogan warns that this win might have inflated Jake's ego. Remember, Perry is not a seasoned boxer, he's an MMA fighter testing the waters in boxing. Rogan believes Jake's confidence could lead him straight into disaster against a fighter of Tyson's caliber. I like Jake. That's it. You think he's doing a good job? Yes. What do you think about the Tyson fight that he just 
announced. That's awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. Try to fight Tyson. If he knocks you out, but at least you fought Tyson. That's cool. At this point, I think Tyson's 58, right? Well, that's not okay. You know, he's like 60 yeah, years yeah, old. But... How much of his power do you think he lost? Do you think it's still Mike Tyson? I think, in there? like, that's the last thing. Or you have some opinions about Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose lose. Everyone's going to know him as the guy. <laughs> That knocked out on all it, Mike Tyson. At his age, if you get hit by one solid Turn Jake Paul prune, punch, prune you're prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. Anything can happen. Jake could literally walk out without an ear. Like, bro, he's... <laughs> the funny thing is, Evander Holyfield followed me. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I said, nah. Not enough ears? No, I'm not. <laughs> Beast Tyson is still at this age. But I just, I don't see him winning this fight. Not because I don't think Tyson's capable, because obviously I know he is, but I don't think Jake Paul is dumb enough to sign up for a fight where the rules and the odds are against him. Like, it doesn't make sense. And as much as I hate to say it, man, Jake works hard and he looks good. And another thing, if I'm being honest, man, my heart can't take seeing another legend get dropped, bro. I just can't take it. Now, this feels like a movie plot, but I can't put my finger on it. Who you got winning this fight, man? Okay, so the news is out that Jake Paul is going to fight Mike Tyson. Now, for you young people out there who have never actually watched a Mike Tyson fight, I invite you to go onto YouTube and watch some of his fights. The Mike Tyson is the hardest hitting puncher that I ever saw. Now you guys are used to UFC, you're not used to watching boxing, but Tyson would destroy people in like seven. Rogan isn't just worried about Jake's skills, he's deeply concerned about the mental toll this fight could take on him. I don't yeah, think we're... he's taking this serious. I'm sorry? I don't believe Jake is taking this serious. Really? Why do you say that? Well, I just don't think so. I I'm think he believes he's the young guy. I'm the quasi-retirement child or whatever they may think I am, and he thinks this is going to be an easy touch. What, um, what, I guess, what led you to take this challenge on? Why are you doing it? Because I can, and I'm going to be successful doing it, and it's easy. Well, I'm watching you train. It doesn't look e it doesn't look it doesn't look easy. It, well, it not, looks like you're putting training, yourself through but, hell. Training is hell, but the fights are always easier than training. Facing a legend like Tyson isn't just about throwing punches; it's about confronting the psychological weight of facing a figure synonymous with raw power and intimidation. Yeah, I had the right hand. For him. Yeah. For 57 years old, Mike Tyson still has some speed and he definitely has some power. That's perfect. Of course, Jake Paul, he's coming off of an impressive victory versus Ryan Bowerland. Stopped him in the first round. You know, a lot of people are counting Mike Tyson out for this fight. They think he's too old. They think Jake Paul, you know, he's in his prime. He's improving year by year. And you can you can see right here, you know, Mike may look a little bit stiff, but his technique is still there. He has power as well. You know, the power is the last thing to go. Of course, Jake Paul will come into this fight with the height advantage, the reach advantage. The youth advantage. I think Jake Paul is only 28 years old. You know, people have talked about this boxing match happening for some time now. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. my whole career and I've been very successful. Mike, I'm going to be honest with you. I love you, Mike. Same. And I'm very nervous for you. Thank you for caring. I do care. I care about you. And I care about my brother. And I know the path he's on right now. And it's ruthless, Mike. I agree. It's pretty cool. It's cool. It's so cool to watch. And he's, he's, he's really crushing it. And, and I just feel like... I want you to be okay in there, Mike. And I want you, you gotta take him serious, Mike, because he's- I take he, him extremely serious. I take him extremely serious. These people don't take him serious. No, they don't. And that's, it's such a mistake, because he's a, he's a, 
He's a real killer, Mike. Like he wanted to be a Navy SEAL before he started boxing. Like in high school, he he wants to be a Navy SEAL. He wanted to go kill people on behalf of his country. I what do I know? You know, but uh, I, I just know Jake, man, and like <clears throat> I just want to make sure you're okay. Well, I'm gonna be splendid. Yeah, thank God. I appreciate you worrying. Yeah, about it's me, gonna man. be it's gonna be a good night, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I care, I care. Uh, the, but you're also not the only person, dude. Like, <clears throat> there's a lot of athletes, a lot of people out there who are like. You know, I saw KD last night and he was talking about, I don't want to talk about that fight because if something happens to Uncle Mike, it's not going to be fun, dude. People are going to be angry. Be like, angry. it's almost it's almost like a weird duality for Jake where if he if he loses, it's problematic. But if he beats Uncle Mike, is it, is it hard for you when someone sits and says, you should be fearful of, of any man on this planet, let alone, you know, Jake Paul? Hey, I'm I'm fearful. I'm fearful of my 13 year old son. And this is what I learned through my 58 years of experience. What my experience is that anyone's capable of killing you. In my life, and the way I live my life, and what I've seen, anyone's capable of killing you. So you should be apprehensive for anyone. That that's just my life, the life that I live. Everyone around me, anybody I know, is capable of killing you. Even if I don't know you, that's how I look at people. They're all capable of killing you. Mm. So I look at them at that, and I, I, my objectives like this. So they're capable of killing me. I'm, I don't sleep on them. I'm not um, over overconfident with anybody in life. Jake might think he's the king of boxing, but this could be a reality check of epic proportions. At 58, Mike Tyson is nearly double Jake's age. The age difference alone raises eyebrows. Rogan knows that this fight is risky not just for Jake but for Tyson too. Tyson has had his share of health issues, and stepping back into the ring at his age is nothing short of a gamble. The stakes are incredibly high, and Rogan is- But I was so relaxed, thanks for the look into the ring, and Mike's pace in the ring, and his shirt off. His body, his physique was incredible. His biceps, his chest, his neck, incredible. I hadn't seen him stripped to the waist. Yeah. And I'm looking, I'm thinking, that's not the same 17 year old boy I met yesterday. That's not the same 17 year old boy I ran with this morning. That's not the same 17 year old boy I sat next to him in the minibus getting here. Yeah. Then Cuss pointed to one of the big men to get in, he was knocked back out. I tell people, I say it all the time, I ruined a good pair of underpants at that moment and so I might shit myself. <laughs> There's no way a 17 year old should have that power. He knocked a couple more out, I got in, I got battered for three minutes, got out, a couple more got in, then I was back in again. I'd done six minutes with him that day. But the madness in me, George, because I do believe fighters have to have a little bit of madness in them. I took some serious punishment off that man over two years. He made me cry so many, many times. But psychologically, I believed if I could take Mike Tyson's punishment, I could take anybody's punishment mm. because he was such a power puncher. He used to speak to my mum on the phone regular, oh, Mrs. Egan, chatting away, and she'd say to him, oh, Mike, thank you so much for looking after my son. <laughs> but he was minding me as well, yeah. mm. even though he was battering me. He was minding me. I remember one time when Sugar Ray Leonard came to the gym. He came to the gym on two occasions while I was there. And Mike wanted to impress Ray Leonard because he was in awe of Sugar Ray Leonard, like a lot of fighters are. Yeah. And um, Mike savagely, savagely beat the sparring partners this day. Is sounding the alarm. Have you seen Tyson's recent training videos? They're terrifying. The man is in savage mode, showcasing speed and power that would make any opponent think twice. Rogan has been adamant that Tyson hasn't lost his- Did you fight Mike Tyson? Again, no, because he's now old. And I, I would be an absolutely tragic shame to knock out an old version of his prime self. That doesn't feel fair, you know? Mm. Prime Tyson would have ripped me apart in a boxing match. It's his rule set and he was Mike Tyson. He would have beaten me, so to beat him when he's past his prime just feels dishonorable and I'd feel dirty for doing that. So there's no amount of money on the planet that could convince me to- Step. If anything, he's more dangerous than ever. This isn't a nostalgic return, this is Iron Mike looking to reclaim his throne. Tyson leaked some of the sparring footage ahead of his fight against Jake Paul, and honestly, I'm getting pretty worried for Jake. Here's the full clip. But here's the kicker Tyson has a history of health issues, including ulcer problems. Doctors have raised concerns about the risks of him continuing to train intensively. If Mike's ulcer worsens, it could lead to serious complications, including the need for emergency surgery. And that's not something you want hanging over a fight of this magnitude. But when you did the exhibition, what did you feel about Tyson when you did the exhibition with Tyson? Mike Tyson's still the strongest puncher that I've ever been in the ring with. 
at 55 at the time. Now I think he's 57, uh-huh. about to be 58. He said yeah. the strongest puncher I've ever been in the ring with. First time he hit me in my chest, I feel like a mule had kicked me in my chest. <laughs> so if he hits anybody on the chin with a shot like that, they're going either out or they're going down, especially guys that are not used to being hit like that. You know what I'm saying? With the with the people like Evander Holyfield and the Lewis, these yeah. guys are bigger and they can take it, but Jake Paul, I don't think he's gonna be able to take that and might hit him on the chin like that. We'll see, but it's gonna be tough. Do you think that uh, Mike Tyson was going all out with you, or do you think that he was like, I mean, like a sparring session? I'm no, I think, hard. He, I, think he, I think I think he went all out to the body. I don't think they went. They, they told us we better not be able to try to take each other's head off, or they're gonna stop. So you couldn't go out to the head, but to the body you could. Oh. And to the body, he was throwing some vicious body shot. Mm. Wow. So yeah. So. Jake, I just seen Jake yesterday, and he was 230 pounds. He looked kind of big. Hey, yeah, he, wow. was two, he was 230, right? I was like, damn, you big. Well, that, really that big. Can make it, that, that can make it interesting then. <laughs> the fight world is buzzing with mixed reactions. Many fans are expressing their concerns about Jake taking on someone like Tyson, arguing that it's a dirty move for a young fighter to go after a boxing legend. The UFC champion Demetrius Johnson even weighed in, suggesting that Jake should fight active boxers closer to his age instead of risking it all against Iron Mike. It was like one, nice tight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, and let's not forget that this fight is backed by Netflix, that even diving into the boxing the world with high stakes. But are they pushing for a spectacle the at the cost of safety? The potential for a catastrophic outcome looms large, and the, the pressure is mounting. Gap? I don't get the feeling that the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight is real, and for some reason I'm very disappointed about it, but I want to show you the training video comparison today and talk about it. If you know me, you know I know nothing about boxing or mixed martial arts. I don't condone violence of any kind. I've never watched a match, and I've never had any interest in the entire sport until now. Even my attention has been caught by this Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul match that's about to go down. I want to show you the training videos they've released side by side here, because even after just like five minutes of my own research, research, I was able to conclude that if anyone but Mike Tyson wins this fight, the entire thing is rigged, which it probably is. And honestly, also from a PR perspective for Jake Paul, that is the only way he could really win this fight is if he lost. Because if you beat Mike Tyson, the whole world is going to be upset with you. But if you lose to Mike Tyson, like that's what we all expect. Rogan has reportedly sent Jake Paul a serious ultimatum, either pull the plug on the Tyson fight or face serious accusations about steroid use. That's right, Rogan is threatening to expose Jake if he doesn't step back from this dangerous bout. This isn't just about pride, it's about Jake's entire career being put on the line. Looking at this footage I'm going to show you, it doesn't matter that Mike Tyson is 58 years old and 5'10", and Jake Paul is 6'1", and 27 years old. And again, I know literally nothing about boxing, but this video in comparison to what Jake Paul is releasing, it's just, it's hands down. And now this could be a really good PR move. Maybe he's just making it look like Mike Tyson has the way upper hand and then they're going to rig it. So Jake Paul wins and the whole internet is upset. That would be really interesting marketing to see. We talked today about all the weird rumors people have been spreading around about fake rules for the fight. No, not one person is gonna be able to wear helmets. There won't be a weird tag team situation with Logan Paul. It sounds like so far coming from Jake Paul, the fight is going to be fair and even despite the age and height difference. And I still cannot wait to see Mike Tyson absolutely destroy him if this is real. Jake's image is at stake here too. He's built a persona as the problem child, but a loss to Tyson could shatter that image. If Rogan goes public with any evidence, it could lead to a career-ending scandal. The pressure is real, and the stakes couldn't be higher. What's good for today? Yeah. I yeah, it you sure? Yeah, me yes. too. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yes. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Good minute, all yes. right? Let's do this. You did great. We're done. Yeah. You sure? Yes. yes. So what does this all mean? Are we witnessing a monumental clash of legends, or are we about to see a young fighter make a colossal mistake? Only time will tell, but for now, it seems like Jake Paul is cornered. He either steps back from this fight or risks everything he's built. What, there's got to be one thing that just really just separates him from the pack as boxers, not from fans. I mean, just speed. Speed yeah. for us. If, you, if, if somebody's so fast that when you go to punch, and they 
they beat you to the punch or you know it's dangerous and you know he was just ferocious I think a lot of times too the fear factor of going into a fight with a guy like that nobody has seen a guy like that to that point here he was he not really fighting left hand he, he going both ways you know what I'm saying he was squaring up he was doing things that you really hard hard it's hard to train for so uh he was just so fight fans what do you think is Jake Paul making a grave mistake by pursuing this fight with Mike Tyson I don't care about championships I've already done that it's something else now. Sometimes you gotta remind them. It's more than skill. And that's my personality. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. This guy's gonna come, he's gonna try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's gonna be greatly mistaken. I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight, and I think I'm gonna be really irritable and nasty. In this world, with hormone replacement and vitamins and dealing, and he does all this like um, uh, electrical muscular stimulation recovery mm. stuff. Like when they were training Mike for that Roy Jones fight, like they were using state of the art yeah, science. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't give a f if you think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah. you. It's unbreakable mindset. I let him fight on my undercard. This is the first time he fought on my card. Well, I started him off. The thing is, can he catch a 28-year-old guy who's at the top of his career, who's winning legitimate boxing matches? I mean, he's beating former UFC world champions. You know, he had that very good fight with uh, Tommy Fury, who's a legitimate boxer. I started Jake off. No one knew who the hell he was. I started him. I'm going to finish him. This is from my, my, my point of view of grabbing glory you know never for money only glory you know which was a very good fight you know he just beat up mike perry who's a bare knuckle champion I mean, it's uh he's a real fighter he can fight <laughs> i would never risk my health for money i don't i don't think he's faster than me i, I train every day i saw him with his shirt off though that he's fat did you start training already? Be in shape. Be in good shape because your health depends on it. And yeah, this is what I learned through my 58 years of experience. Well, my experience is that anyone's capable of killing you. Anyone's capable of killing you, so you should be apprehensive for anyone. So I look at them at that and I, I my objective's like this, so they're capable of killing me, I'm, I don't sleep on them. I'm not um, over overconfident with anybody in life. Or do you believe he has what it takes to prove the doubters wrong? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for all the latest updates in the boxing world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.